Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. I want to show you something that I see occasionally uh, on my home inspections. It's called a bootleg ground or a false ground. And a, a bootleg ground is something that can result in a very dangerous situation. And I want to show you why. Before I go to my test board, let me show you real quickly what a bootleg ground is. So this is a picture of one I found on an inspection once. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a red wire in that picture that's vertical that's going from the neutral screw to the ground screw. That's the jumper that's creating the bootleg ground. Let me highlight it in yellow, and I've circled the neutral screw in red and the ground screw in green. So that wire, or that jumper, is what creates the bootleg ground. And I've also made one uh, on another outlet that's a lot easier to see. That white wire that makes the kind of half circle is the jumper that creates the bootleg ground. It's always going to be attached from the neutral screw to the ground screw. Okay, so now let's get back to the test board. First, let me show you my test rig. Uh, I've got power coming in here, flowing across this way. Uh, this electrical outlet here I've set up with a bootleg ground, and this cord goes to this toaster oven, which is turned on. I've got power flowing through it. Uh, if I use one of these standard three light testers to test this electrical outlet, the green light shows that that outlet is properly wired. However, we know it's not. Uh, that's one of the flaws with these three light testers is uh, they can't pick up every situation. Uh, so if I plug in my SureTest circuit analyzer into this same electrical outlet, you'll see this F flashing. That flashing F indicates that it's a false ground. So this circuit analyzer does pick up the fact that this outlet does have a bootleg ground. But let me show you why these are so dangerous. Before I show you on my test board, let me show you using a diagram what happens when we have an open neutral and a bootleg ground. So here's a just a typical circuit. We've got two receptacles and we've got a load plugged in. So you've got 120 volts on all those black hot wires and you've got zero volts on the neutral wires. You can see the load plugged in and across the load you have a 120 volt drop. So that's why on the neutral side, even with the load, you've got zero volts. So now let's look and see what happens when the neutral is opened. With an open neutral, you still have that load plugged in but current can't flow, so that load is just like a conductor. There's no voltage drop. So you'll have 120 volts even on the neutral wire at that receptacle. And on a bootleg ground, you've got the ground screw and the neutral screw connected together. That means you're also going to have 120 volts on that ground screw. And let's watch on my demo board what that does. Let's suppose that upstream of this outlet, maybe at another outlet, maybe in a junction box, maybe at the breaker panel, that a neutral wire uh, comes disconnected. So I'm gonna disconnect this neutral wire right here. And with my voltage detector, let me show you what we've got. The, the shell or the frame of this toaster oven is live. It's got 120 volts. If someone were to walk up to this and touch it, they could easily be electrocuted. That's the danger of bootleg grounds, uh, is if a neutral wire comes loose, you run the risk of someone getting electrocuted. Uh, there's another problem with bootleg grounds, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So here's our outlet wired with a bootleg ground. You've got the neutral and the ground wire connected together. So let's say that somebody wiring this circuit that doesn't quite know what they're doing, and they wire this thing with reverse polarity. So with reverse polarity, you have the hot wire where the neutral wire should be, and you have the neutral wire where the hot wire should be. And I've colored the neutral wire in red on this. So now what you see in red has 120 volts on it, and the black wire is actually now the neutral at zero volts. So if you have 120 volts on that neutral wire, you've also got 120 volts on the ground wire. So let's look and see what this does with the toaster oven. Okay, so the second situation that I want to show you is again i've still got this wired with the bootleg ground but over here i've set up a reverse polarity uh, if you don't know what that is it's basically where the black wire is connected to the white wire so the hot wire is connected to what should be the neutral wire and the neutral wire is connected to the hot wire so 
your wires are reversed. That's what a reverse polarity or a hot neutral reverse is. And I do have a video on that as well if you want to take a look at it. So with a reverse polarity and a combination of false ground or bootleg ground, let me show you what you have. Again, this tester will show that everything's correct. You've got the green light. The uh, SureTest circuit analyzer will also show, uh, just like it did earlier, it'll show the flashing F for the false ground. So it is picking up that there's a problem. If I can get it unplugged here. Okay, so here's the problem. This toaster oven again, if we check it with this uh, voltage detector, this is live. It's got 120 volts. So whether it's a toaster oven, a refrigerator, a washing machine, anybody who walks up to that and touches it can potentially be electrocuted. That creates a very dangerous situation. So the open neutral that I showed you earlier, the reverse polarity that I, I've got now, along with this bootleg ground, creates a potential electrocution. That's why you should never wire an outlet with a bootleg ground or a false ground because it is very dangerous. If this video has been helpful, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it. Uh, and I appreciate you watching this. Take care, have a good day.